better. Uh, just got into Philadelphia a little bit ago. Um, took a little rest, got some lunch, and I thought I'd go for a walk. And then I came across the barbershop, thought it was time. in the 90s and really humid so uh i came back to my hotel room anyway i'm refreshed now so i thought i'd go out and do a little walk uh with my Hasselblad. um i'm actually going to a baseball game tonight so i've got a couple hours um so i'm just gonna walk around the block a few times a couple blocks uh, i've got two rolls of film uh ilford hp4 and kodak gold 200 so uh i'm kind of excited a lot of cool buildings and a lot of uh, interesting place to see. So uh, let's go for a walk. Pancakes, you want eggs, you want a steak? Yeah. All of that? when I travel I like to go see baseball but usually when I go somewhere where there is baseball 
the home team is out of town. So it's actually kind of fun to go to a ballpark I've never been to, uh, Philadelphia. I'm a Dodgers fan, die hard, but I like baseball. So. Dodger fans. Ah, Dodgers suck. That's what I'm going to say. Let's go, Phillies. Put the name right here because I can't think of it right now. But uh, I'm, a, I'm out trying to complete a personal photo project where I'm going around the country um, and other countries to photograph uh, Martin Luther King Boulevards, which this is one. So it's something I've been working on for quite a while, actually, um, not consistently. The idea is wherever I go, I've noticed there's Martin Luther King street, streets named after Martin Luther King. I'm someone who's uh, spent many years, I guess now, by about now, by uh, reading a lot of uh, Martin, Martin Luther King's uh, speeches, sermons, uh, read a couple of his books, and he's someone who's had an impact on me um, to, uh, you know, get involved in my community in a positive way. And it's not always easy, or something that, that's something that's easy to do. Uh, I came here actually to Philadelphia about 2013, working on another project that kind of morphed into this project um, where I was uh, inspired one of, by one of his uh, later speeches called The Drum Major Instinct, which I highly recommend. I'll put a description down below for anybody to listen. Drum Major sort of leads the, uh, the beat for a, a parade. In his speech, um, I mean, it's really good. It's like, but it's a, I can't put it all in one big summary, but the, I, little summary but the idea is um, to be a drum major for uh, justice be a drum major for love um, and service to others so when I was here last in 2013 roughly I came to interview someone named uh, Tony Campolo he's a how do you describe Tony Campolo he's a Christian evangelist but so much more he did a lot to disciple others inspire others and he also got involved himself in um, helping uh, people in Haiti, different countries, um, and people just here in Philadelphia. Tony Campolo, he actually went to one of Dr. King's rallies, so I thought it was kind of cool. Anyway, I'm here in Philadelphia now. It's 2022. When I was here in 2013, I drove along this uh, street, and I thought it was the most beautiful Martin Luther King street I've ever seen. There was nowhere to park and I was sort of in the hurry in a hurry to get to the airport so I couldn't get a photo and I was I was killing myself so I was like all right I'm doing this cross cross country trip across the US on Amtrak and so I thought I should uh, I saw Philadelphia was a spot to go and I was like wait there's something in Philadelphia Martin Luther King Boulevard now when I photograph uh, Martin Luther King streets they come in all shapes and sizes where it's just like an empty lot 
with a street next to it named after Martin Luther King. Um, some places are in Atlanta that um, have a lot of history connected, obviously, and other places are just seem random. So this one, to me, is just the sort of a, sort of a capstone in terms of beauty, because there's an often uh, held perception, and sometimes rightfully so, that to go to Martin Luther King Boulevard means uh, you go into the ghetto and uh, to a rough part of town, and if anyone asks you to meet you there, it's typically good, good, good not to go. And it goes with the message I have with this uh, photo project I'm working on. I'm gonna be making a book out of it. Um, the idea is uh, to meet at Martin Luther King Boulevard um, at sort of a crossroads of life. Um, we all see places and things where it's bad, you know, socially, economically all that stuff and it's easy to just ignore it it's really easy to bypass drama in life and the more we ignore drama the more drama goes on and it's not to say that if you give attention to drama it's going to go away but as a community as a group of people some at some point you have to face drama in your world there's no guarantee of success and all that kind of stuff but I can attest, um, I've been changed through the message of love, loving my neighbor, and getting involved to uh, socially uplift people. It's impacted me in ways I, I, can, I just can't describe. It's helped me to see strangers as brothers and pretty much put, the, put flesh to what Jesus said, to love your neighbor as yourself. Um, it's not just... Uh, you know, thinking nice things about people, it's actually doing nice things, or not just nice things, but doing right things. 